All right, guys. This is my PDP concept by DW. It's a direct drive pedal, no chain. And of course, these are the springs that we're going to work on today. If you notice, the spring has been tightened up all the way to the end. There's no more room to go. So that means that this spring is actually worn out. Now, this pedal is only about a year old, um, but I got a pretty heavy foot, so uh, they wear out quick. At any rate, I noticed that uh, I had no more adjustment, and I still didn't like the action here. I like it real stiff, you know, like uh, driving an old-time uh, D3 bulldozer with my grandpa. All right, let me show you what you're going to need next. All right, in order to do this job correctly, you gotta get some DW original replacement screws. Don't try to go to the hardware store. You'll never match the right tension. All right, well, the first thing that you wanna do is match up your replacement spring. And I tell you, that looks pretty close. So let's go on ahead and loosen the tensioner. You go back one click on the pliers just so you could loosen this up by hand and of course you could push down and spin this out and it's going to resist you the whole way but that's just the way this works okay the old screen comes out like that now now we got to pop the new one on. So let's see if we can just kind of wiggle it in there. Like that. All right, so don't forget to straighten your pedal back up again because that's the position you want it in. This little curly cue goes to the back, and of course, this stem's going to go in here. Let's just reseat that. bottom nut screwed in okay just gonna get it on there and snug now we're gonna work on the other side same thing on the satellite side I prefer using that word secondary side either one of those two works fine for me as you can see there really wasn't much of an adjustment left on this guy not at all okay off comes the old one now we gotta pop the new one on so let's see if we can just kind of wiggle it in there like that Okay, good, cool. Okay, so here's a trick if you want to get real tactical. You can actually measure and see how much you have. And this one is just a little more than a half inch, okay? So what we'll do is we'll back it up. Let's see if we can get a half inch. Yeah, that's pretty close. Let's look at the other side. That one is down way too much. Okay, so we got one inch of tension on that side and one inch of tension on this side. Now this is only a reference point. That's why you're only gonna 
screw these up hand tight because as you're playing the kit and kicking them, you're going to want to either tighten or loosen according to how your feet feel. Anyways, that's one way that you guys can modify, tune up, and get more power and more control out of your foot pedal. Hey man, give me a like, give me a subscribe, how about a share? Helps the content, helps us make a lot more cool videos for all you guys. Till then, thanks for watching.